Okay, part three of my uh, downdraft gasification wood boiler system with 1,000 gallons storage. Uh, I wanted to cover a couple uh, auxiliary things you need to think about. Um, one of the things that can happen with a wood boiler and, or any wood-fueled appliance is uh, what happens uh, during a power failure or a component failure like a circulator pump. Um, so there's a couple of ways I'm addressing that issue. First of all, power failure. Um, and being out in the country, that usually happens at the worst possible time, like a snowstorm with uh, you know 40 mile an hour winds, and usually when the boiler's, boiler's fired up and you need it the worst. So in a power failure, we would potentially lose our circulator pump uh, which is the, would be the most important thing to, that you don't want to lose because that's circulating your water, keeping your boiler temperature under control. So what I've done to address it here is a battery backup system. So we have a, basically a 12 volt uh, marine battery, deep cycle battery. We have a pure sine inverter rated at 1000 watts continuous. And this inverter has a built-in transfer switch and circuitry that when it detects a power loss, a line loss from the power company, it within milliseconds it switches automatically to the battery and the boiler base boiler and whatever else you have powered by it doesn't even really know it suffered a power loss and things keep running correctly. Now the other, th the other thing, you'll notice there's two ports up on top of the boiler. And uh, this is a overheat protection loop built into the boiler. It is usually supplied on most European made boilers, which the attack is a European boiler. And the way it works, I obviously don't have it hooked up yet, I will be hooking it up, is there is a uh, Watts mechanical type, thermostatic type valve you install. It has a thermostatic element that goes uh, in the boiler jacket, basically right underneath this cover. And I believe that's what this opening right here is to bring that out. You probably mount the valve on the wall. Uh, to the uh, plumb to the valve would be domestic cold water, uh, pressurized, typically 40 PSI, which you would have at your house. And so, when that thermostatic element de detects almost almost boiling temperatures, not quite, it opens the valve and it's going to run cold water through this loop. And then you would ex, uh, exit that cold water outside or into a sink or into a drain or something. Um, the other method of handling an overheat situ situation would be a, uh, a heat loop dissipation loop that would be uh, probably set up above the boiler so it would gravity f uh, gravity feed the heat would gravity feed up um, without any power or circulation on the pump I have elected not to go that route just because it's kind of you need quite a bit of tube and fin up above the boiler to make that happen correct work correctly dissipate enough heat so I'm going to use the uh, domestic cold water setup that the Europeans use and uh, call it good. I'm, I, I'm feeling it's, my feeling is it'll be a very good protection between that and the battery backup. Um, it should be covered pretty well. And that's it for this segment.